elephants are social animals and live in herds. They rarely separate from their group. However, when they cannot find food with the herd, they may venture into nearby villages in search of food and water. Unfortunately, this often puts them in harm's way, as they can become ensnared in traps like snares or jaw exploders, or even be targeted by villagers with gunshots. Additionally, elephants can face danger from both natural and human-caused disasters. In the video, the elephant appears to have a visible wound on its leg, while the villagers observing its unusual eating pattern suspected that its mouth also have injured from a jaw-exploding trap. Because they noticed that, the grasses and other food particles are just grabbed from the trunk, drop inadvertently near the mouth. Jaw exploders are explosive devices created by combining gunpowder with compact fragments of metal or rock. When implanted in an animal's mouth and triggered by a bite or crushing force, these devices can cause severe damage to the jaw and other soft tissues, like the tongue. However, the exact cause for this ailment is still unknown. An elephant can often survive for up to a week with wounds before it becomes too weak and collapses. Due to their formidable size and strength, they can withstand injuries that would be life-threatening for smaller animals. However, if an injured elephant remains with the herd, the wounds can go unnoticed, which can be potentially fatal. Conversely, elephants that separate from the herd and venture near villages are fortunate. They are more likely to be spotted by villagers who can alert wildlife authorities for assistance. Upon being informed by villagers about the wounded elephant in the village, forest authorities quickly responded by rushing to the site to provide assistance. It is common for elephants to seek relief from wounds by moving into water where they can submerge the affected limb to alleviate pain and ward off flies. However, treating an elephant while submerged in water can be challenging, as it must be first safely moved out of the water and then sedated. To achieve this, the rescue team may use tactics such as shouting and firecrackers to coax the animal out of the water. <laughs> In this particular case, the elephant did not respond to these methods, prompting the team to enter the water themselves and gently move the animal to shore, taking care not to cause any further harm. After the elephant is coaxed out of the water, the wildlife authorities prepare a sedative drug tailored to the elephant's weight and administer it by darting it into the animal's back. It typically takes around 15 minutes for the sedative to take effect, during which time the elephant may walk some distance. Given that wild elephants are unpredictable and potentially dangerous, the authorities must exercise caution when treating them, as the animals cannot be tamed or controlled. However, Despite the risks, the team acts swiftly to provide the elephant with essential treatments such as multivitamins, antibiotics, ivermectin, anti-inflammatory drugs, and other relevant medications. Despite the sedation, the elephant remains conscious during treatment, and there is always risk of attack or injury to the team members. The elephant will remain sedated for a short period of time. Due to the time-sensitive nature of the treatment, the team must work quickly to provide the necessary care and ensure the elephant's safety before the sedative wears off. The medication team must be cautious about the animal's behavior when dealing with a wounded wild elephant. They try to cover the elephant's eyes with a piece of cloth to minimize the risk of attack. If the animal can't see its surroundings, it will not tend to move about or attack anybody. However, the elephant did not respond well, so they injected the necessary medications without delay.
The team also sprays an antibiotic on the leg wound, which is the main issue. After completing the necessary treatment, they administer the revival drug through the tail's IV to bring the elephant back to consciousness, to ensure the elephant's complete recovery. The team checked its mouth for any wounds, as they suspected the elephant had an exploded jaw. But luckily, they didn't find anything significant. The primary issue was the wound on the leg. The elephant received the required treatment and a forest officer was assigned to monitor its progress. The successful treatment of the wounded elephant is a testament to the hard work and dedication of the wildlife authorities and the rescue team. Despite the risks in handling a wild animal, they acted precisely and cared to administer the necessary medications and treatments to heal the elephant's wounds. The coordinated effort of everyone involved is an example of what can be achieved when people come together to protect and care for wildlife. It reminds us that we must take responsibility for preserving our environment and the creatures that inhabit it. Through such efforts, we can positively impact our planet and ensure a brighter future for all. Making that magazine.